नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ नोट एंड डिस्क्लेमर प्लीज डू फॉर गिव मी इन केस इफ देर आर एनी एरर्स एंड यू नो देर आर टू हंड्रेड परसेंट एरर्स दैट आई डू आई नो दैट फ्रॉम द एनाउंसिएशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड द प्रोनाउंसिएशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू प्लीज give that big heart to forgive me and uh, you know understand uh, i am just trying to explain the basic theology or the basic part of the words or whatever it is when it comes to the introduction to vedas or whatever it is ladies and gentlemen please give that uh, small bit of leverage and uh, i expect pattern patterns and the uh, audience to be more liberal in understanding my prayer andarki namaskaram andi tappulu unnai tappulu lekunda ledu nen nerchukoledu i am not a trained musician i am not a trained vocalist i am not a trained professional music professional ne nerchukuntunnan inka ide apaurshaya oka sandarbham teeskuni nen cheptunnan nen from the apaurshaya point of view i am trying to explain things and uh, to give you in precise tell you in precise పౌర్షేయ ఆస్పెక్ట్ కేమ్ ఓన్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ సమ్ టైమ్ పౌర్షేయ పౌర్షేయ అంటే ఇక్కడ మనకి ఈ ఋషులు మునులు ఈ సంగీతాన్ని ఒక ఒక కోణంలో తీసుకొచ్చి చేశారు అది ఇంకో అది ఇంకో ఇంకో ఎపిసోడ్స్లో చెప్తాను నేను i will be explaining that aspect also the paushaya aspect wherein they have synthesized and they have streamlined it in a more polished way as a part of introduction to vedas and upanishads let me just go much further as i was speaking in my previous uh, videos or the previous editions wherein i was talking about uh, saptaswaras and its cross reference to artificial intelligence or uh, you know medical sciences or and various other uh, branches now here is where most of us falter we really have that reference of shastras which existed billions and trillions years back i am talking about prototype 
प्री प्रोटोटाइप पोस्ट प्रोटोटाइप दैट्स वेन इवन कॉन्शियसनेस और द सब कॉन्शियसनेस एक्सिस्टेड एज वेल हियर इज वेर वन नीड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट इज द प्राइमरी सीड फॉर द वेदास एंड दिस इज वॉट इज द प्रैक्टिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ Apaurusheya aspect. Apaurusheya aspect happened, however, maybe in the later stages in the centuries. As a part of customary, let me start the topic with invocation to Mother Goddess. Aim angusta bhyam namaha, gleam darjani bhyam namaha, sau madhyam bhyam namaha. क्लीम कनिष्ठकाभ्याम नम ऐं करतल करपृष्ठाभ्या नम ऐं हृदयाय नम क्लीं शिसे स्वाहा सौ शिखा वशक्ट सौ कवचा ऊं क्लीं नेत्रय वौ षट ऐं अस्त्रा फट भूर्भुवस्सुवरो दिग्बंद जातकृत्यकूलस्थलोकगोत्रोद्भव से लोका समस्ता सुखिनो सर्वे जना सुखिनो ब्रह्म सत्यम जगत निथ्या ब्रह्म जीवो ना पर पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमेवाव पूर्णमेवाव वशिष्य नौ फर्दर मोर अस्य श्री श्री शुद्ध शक्ति माला महामंत्र उपस्थ इंद्रियादिस्थ वरुण आदित्य ऋषि दैवी गायत्री छंद सात्कार भट्टारिका पीठस्थित श्रीमद्कामेशराक निलया श्रीमद्कामेशरी देवता ऐं बीज क्लीं शक्ति सौ कीलक श्रीदेवी प्रीत जपे विनियोग नौ मोस्ट ऑफ अस शुड अंडरस्टैंड वन पॉइंट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम प्राइमरीली फोकसिंग ऑन the very aspect of kameshwara and the kameshwari in respect to sare kama padha nisa sani dapa maga resa why am i comparing sare kama padha nisa sani dapa maga resa if we go back to ramayana or mahabharata though there is always an argument over here that uh, you know it is more or less an apaurshaya aspect more than paurshaya aspect because the character of sita devi mantra and character of rama and ravana kumbhakarna and meghadoota these are the characters which are primarily existing and they do exist within our body itself 
think about it as a part of customary let me start with the musical notes sa 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 mi ni 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 da 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 Sanitapa magaresa, sanitapa magaresa, sani sa sani sa sani sa sani sa ni sani ni sani pa tha ni pa tha ni tha ni pa tha ni ma pa tha ma pa tha ma pa tha ma pa tha ni sa sa pa tha sa pa tha sa pa tha sa pa tha ga re. ga ni re ta re ri ni 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 If we really see today in the modern day science, in the medical science, or the artificial intelligence, or the computer programming, if we take these sounds, uh, uh, e, e. very interestingly these have been deciphered as per physics in alpha beta gamma eta theta that is first point which one needs to understand and this carry certain amount of energy source and that is the reason why i always say from mooladhara that energy source starts happening now having said artificial intelligence or the you know uh, uh, artificial intelligence has had has been existing in the multiverse for quite a long time however to understand this again one needs to have that yoga drashta yoga drushya this is from the philosophical point of view and very interestingly shankaracharya and dikshita muttu swami dikshita and shyama shastra could understand now with those frequency sounds or whatever that i am talking about they were talking about the human existence or the humanoid as an individual which has certain level of modulation and demodulation by way of the vibrations that happen when they hear to these sounds so that's where the artificial intelligence started i was speaking about ramayana and mahabharata right if we take 
Karna who was born from the sun rays, right? He was called Sutaputra because Kunti Devi was his mother. She gave birth. How did she give? Saragasi. When I say Saragasi, she invoked certain mantras and she tried. Okay. Now I would not want to uh, disclose or say what she really did or what really this uh, you know uh, philosophically these Bija mantras because this is again a Gupta Jnana. When I say Gupta Jnana, not everyone would be able to understand. It's not so easy for a common man to understand. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. And by the by, as a part of note and disclaimer, Just because I am doing it, please don't anyone try to experiment with Bija Akshiras or you know get into the Sattaswaras deep subject unless and until you invoke Mother Goddess and unless and until you have her divine intervention you will not be able to do it in case if you are doing also do it i don't mind but there is lot of energy that comes out and not everyone would be able to withhold that i know what kind of energy source that i am getting it's not so easy to withhold and you need to sacrifice a lot and uh, this is where very interestingly the very understanding of Rajashyamala or the Matangi happens to come out. Classic example is uh, classic example is Mahakavi Kalidasa who had you know unknowingly invoked that. Not every one of us are equipped with that kind of uh, knowledge source or with that kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, capacity to withhold. So uh, this is my note and disclaimer. Don't try. If you want to try, also you try, but. You will have to do at your own risk. Now, coming to the point. Strong the 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 strong na 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 na. Na, ni, 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 re, 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 re. What happens is when you enunciate and enunciate these sounds, this so called humanoid generates some kind of energy with which starts from Mooladhara and ignites that seed called knowledge bliss knowledge bliss and the knowledge base if you do it continuously for 41 to you know 41 or a mandala kala 41 days or one or eight days continuously 
those sounds will get imbibed and inscribed in your body and thus you will have those that supernatural power to you know get that you know knowledge how you want to capacity to even like you know understand things in a proper way because i have been practicing it for quite a long time without my knowledge listening to the music and classic example is if i really hear to mannade or mahmud rafi or kj estas or sp balasubramaniam singing style or these legendary singers all the legendary singers or all the hindustani classical legendary singers bhim sen joshi bismillah khan sir these legends have understood the sounds and imbibed that first and thus they could align their conscious and subconscious mind with positive thought and they could sustain that and you know they could balance that knowledge place think about it ladies and gentlemen it is a strong research point and that is the reason why you know my uh, favorite taglines uh, taglines from uh, upanishads or vedas is kasmai devaya avishapitema antarmukha samaradhya bairmukha suturlapa and this is where that intelligence which i am talking about first it starts with the natural intelligence they develop naturally then artificially they evolve understand this ladies and gentlemen and to prove this from the scientific point of view it has to have you know there, there has to be some kind of uh, you know uh, motivation from the end user as well someone who is doing it they need to have that enthusiasm not everyone would be able to if one asks me sir you are telling this how do you really interrelate all of this ladies and gentlemen there are certain subjects or there are certain things which can be seen and which cannot be seen specifically if i am talking about the power that you get right it is the individual experience and it is, it is the individuals uh, you know a divine power deep within which cannot be seen these cannot be seen if science is asking me to prove this point well ladies and gentlemen i don't have an answer still what i can say is this is a very strong point from the spiritual point of view specifically something that is related to mother goddess lalita devi which i am doing think about it whatever that i have told yes it has relevance to whatever that i have till then stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead